Um, I love learning about some of these chapters in your book, why, why Diets Fail and How to Make Yours Work, which is going to be hitting the markets uh, in the new year. And we're focusing on the myths, a lot of the myths that you see and write about in this book. Yeah, and so the one today that I want to talk about is that it's got to be difficult for it to work. You know, people go into diets, you know, and it's almost like they're diving into a freezing cold lake in the beginning of the springtime. And, you know, you psych yourself up and you dive and you know it's going to be cold and you know it's going to be a challenge. And you get in because you psyched yourself up and you get numb and you can actually have a good time and you can stay there for a while. But the problem is when you get out. When you get out, you remember how rough it was when you were in. And so real life happens to people, you know, so we live real rich lives and sometimes life gets in the way of our best intentions. And if the strategy you employ to lose weight is an icy cold lake, it is a challenge, it is restriction, it is suffering. Well, chances are, once you inevitably climb out somewhere for a breather for life, you're not going to dive back in anytime soon. And so people will happily, you know, suffer for a while. I mean, that's almost the definition of dieting. It's die with a T. But ultimately, when they get sick of suffering and they climb out of their icy cold lake, they're not heading back in. So the real purpose is to try to find the balance of not feeling like you, that you need to be in that icy cold lake, but that there's there's a way around it. Now you need to like your life. You know, suffering, it does not work. 